Hey y'all, welcome back to the reading room. I wanted to take a look here today at a case of a patient with chronic regurgitation that hasn't been responding to some medical therapy. So radiographs were taken of this patient and what we see here is that the esophagus is diffusely distended predominantly with gas. So the esophagus is visible both in the ventrodorsal projection here and in the lateral projection caudally. So we really need to kind of take a look out for that. It's really easy to see in the ventrodorsal projection, a little bit more challenging in the lateral. I think probably that last line I drew didn't encompass the entire esophagus, so it's partially superimposed with the aorta there. But this ventral margin, it becomes really easy to identify because there's actually gas on either side of it. So those are important features to look for when we're trying to find evidence of megaesophagus. So one of the other things to note is what might be in the esophagus. In this instance, in our left lateral projection, we have just a little bit of fluid present. Again, we've got that nice well-defined ventral margin, that dorsal margin sitting up higher a little bit. And the other thing we really need to look for is evidence of aspiration pneumonia. So in this case, we've got a little bit of increased opacity within the cranioventral thorax. However, this patient's limbs are superimposed with that region. We don't really see any evidence of that in our opposite lateral projection. It's pretty well defined up there. And in our ventrodorsal projection, we're not really seeing any evidence of that uh, cranially. So I think probably this is due to superimposition, remembering that the most common place that we might find an alveolar pattern is in our right middle lung lobe, which is at the level of the cardiac silhouette here in our lateral projection. The bronchus comes down here, so we oftentimes find an alveolar pattern somewhere in this region. And then, of course, kind of occupying this area here in the ventrodorsal projection. So if we find alveolar pattern within those regions, then that would be something that we worry about. But of course, remembering that the alveolar pattern can be distributed in multiple different lobes, but is most often ventral when we have an aspiration as an underlying cause. So that's megaesophagus in this patient without any evidence of aspiration pneumonia. And our next step might be to do a swallow study or to try additional medical management to do endoscopy. Really, I think what we need to do here is consult with an internal medicine specialist who might help us further with the case.